What is going on everybody? Alright, continuing on our coverage like we showed you in that other video. Today I want to show you two of the official Samsung cases. The first one, which is actually pretty unique and a terrific design, is the new standing cover with S Pen integration. What happens is this piece right here where the S Pen sits actually can pop out and you can put on this other area that comes along with it that is actually a kickstand. So this is in that green colorway, the gray green they call it. We'll go ahead and uh, take a look at this one. And then also what kind of really got popular with the flip devices is the silicone grip cover with that strap to hold it in your hand. This is obviously in that beige color pattern that the phone is in as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Actually, let's go ahead and do the silicone grip cover first just to see how this baby looks. These are going to both be two-piece cases for obvious reasons. Again, all both official cases and both come at different price points. This does come with the S Pen, so that is good to know as well. So for the silicon case, obviously you have a whole booklet of reading material. Pluck that to the side. One thing I do not like about these cases I just want to go ahead and throw out there is every year they come with these little adhesive strips or tabs so they encourage you to attach it to the device. I never do, you don't technically need to, but it is something that they kind of uh, allude to with these tabs all throughout the devices and on the side as well. So right off the bat I can tell you this is actually pretty nice. You can see it says fold on there. It has a nice solid grip to it and it does make it easy to hold. So again, without pulling these tabs off, let's go ahead and slide these on and see exactly how it looks. So it lines right up as you can see. And we'll go ahead and do the same on this side. And it is as easy as that. So again, it's meant to kind of be flexible if you want to hold it like this or if you have it at a different angle and you need to get a different shot. You don't have to have your whole hand compensating with the phone. You can actually just have this strap linked on and you can take your shots or whatever you might need, even simply angling it like that as well. So not too bad. I do like this strap. I really do. This, uh, this whitish beige case, case with that orange strap is uh, really is an eye catcher. I don't preferably necessarily like the top here. I wish there wasn't anything around this display, but it is there nonetheless. Camera cutouts, obviously your charger ports, mic, speaker grills. All right, so yeah, that's option A as you can see. If that is not your style, let's go ahead and slide this baby off. We will now take a look at that standing cover with S Pen. And again, this is definitely a costly option. You can always get some discounts on it, but uh, this is by no means a reasonably priced case. This comes in at about $80, I believe. But I think for what you get, it is not going to be a bad bang for your buck. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And again, all these come in different assorted colors. This is going to be that gray green if you so chose to get your uh, fold for in that color pattern. So we have a separate case here, which is going to be for what I would assume to be the S Pen. And that piece of the case. And you can see it says Fold Edition right on there. Pretty nice pen. And then for the actual case itself, it is in two parts, as you would anticipate. But the other one, and you got to be careful not to lose some of the pen tips and the actual piece to pull the tip out if you need to exchange them or replace them I should say. So it's good to know they still come in here as well. All right, let's slide the front piece on here. And that back piece again. Okay, so this is kind of what the gray green looks like on the beige bold 4. Uh, I really actually like this one. 
and the unique aspect like we were talking about, this is the piece that actually is fully removable. So you can exchange the kickstand piece if you don't want it with the S Pen. So again, as you can see, it says Samsung on the side here. And you do have that option to either stand it straight up or kind of tip it on its side if you're using it. Now I can say this actually feels pretty firm. Um, I was actually expecting a little more give than what it had and I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that. But again, multitasking, if you want to pop that out and simply slide the S Pen piece into it. You can see it clicks right in and just like that now you have your S Pen on the back. Still, it's a makeshift case, it's not built in, but just because of the battery life, I, uh, I'm almost happy, happier they built this separately than hindering what the battery life could be on this Fold 4. Maybe down the road if they have more room for actually integrating a bigger battery and taking a cutout here for the S Pen to be built in, like on the S22 Ultra, I'd be about it, but I'd rather take battery life over this being embedded in the device. So yeah, those are the really two main options currently, and you can see both are unique in their own way. Both are really serving different purposes, but which do you like from Samsung's official offering? Comment down below, let us know. We actually have some new cases, and I'll actually give you a quick sneak peek from Whitestone Dome, which is something new this year. They actually have a contrast case for the Fold 4 series. We'll cover this in a later video when we talk about Whitestone, but for now, these are the official accessories we have. Let me know down below, are you picking one of these up? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.